Blue Buffalo, now a brand within the General Mills family, first opened the doors of its 450,000 square foot Richmond, Indiana plant in June 2019. Management knew that for the plant to be competitive, they needed a strong reliability culture and a focus on proactive maintenance and lubrication. When Blue Buffalo called Noria, they were in the process of designing and building the plant. Before machines were installed, they worked with Noria to ensure that the right inspections, contamination control activities, and lubrication procedures would be in place from day one of operations. Over the course of a year, Noria visited the Richmond site six times and worked together with the lubrication techs Kevin Keith and Matt Felix to identify lubrication points, document procedures, and cover best practices. And it was once every uh, about two or three months between each. The total process probably took, you know, probably about a year, year, year and a couple months maybe. It was probably a month before we started running our first bag. And uh, Jeremy came in and kind of just helped give some ideas on what we could do and you know, ways to work around if it was in a tight spot or something like that. Uh, so he came out for, I think, a week and just, and just helped uh, work on that stuff. When Noria helps the plant make improvements to its lubrication program, they follow a three-phase approach of assessment, design, and implementation. Phase one, the Ascend Assessment, is a three-day process in which Noria experts walk the plant, capturing details of the plant's current lubrication practices and procedures. Then they deliver a complete report, which includes a strategic plan designed to help the plant achieve both quick wins and long-term success, along with an overall score. With the assessment complete and the roadmap in hand, it was time to start modifying equipment, installing breathers, sight glasses, and other improvements that drive reliability. Uh, the BS&W bowls, um the desiccant breathers with the check valves. Then uh, we also got the uh, gearbox adapters to where we can put a uh, quick connect full fill and drain ports um, so that we can, you know, cycle or, you know, change it without opening the gearbox actually. It really made a big difference, I think. Having these fixtures in place upholds the integrity of a plant's lubrication program. A lubrication storage room equipped with all the necessary components was also developed. Without a clean and controlled space, lubricants can degrade significantly before they even enter machines. Environmental contamination, temperature fluctuations, or cross-contamination can all play a role in affecting machine reliability. With our procedures that we have in place, we can see a problem before it is even noticeable by anybody else. And we can either fix the problem or let maintenance know that there's a problem coming and we need to correct it. I put together a little bit of a introductory training for the maintenance techs and stuff to kind of give them the base knowledge and you know show them you know the labels that we have and how to get the right grease or the right oil. If it's something simple like that, then they you know they go ahead and handle it and they log it and let us know what was going on so we can check it out when we come back in. I had the maintenance supervisor text me today and ask about where the port is to put oil in a certain machine and I had to tell him where the port was and made sure he knew what oil to put in there. So any other time they would have just grabbed an oil can and put it in there, that's all you need to do. But now, like I said, they know that we know what we're doing and they don't want to screw it up themselves. So they call and at least verify what they're doing. Yeah. Our buffs like Matt and Kevin are really the unsung heroes of what we do each and every day. Uh, you know, they're the ones that make sure the equipment doesn't break down. They are the ones that have over 5,200 lubrication points that they are, you know, lovingly nurturing each and every day. Um, without their leadership, their talent, and their expertise, we are not able to make the business commitments that we make. While their lubrication program is running smoothly, Matt and Kevin are always improving. They log into their Lube PM online portal regularly to review Ascend assessment data and to check in on progress toward larger program goals. And uh, so now we use it for checking up on what areas where we still need to improve because, you know, we, you know, continuous improvement trying to, you know, be the best we can be. And uh, so we use those little tidbits of information that are in there and we work towards uh, achieving those, those standards. Matt and Kevin didn't start their careers with a focus on lubrication, but it's their bread and butter today. Noria has been a source of knowledge and support for both of them during this process, through training and on-site services. The Blue Buffalo Richmond plant continues to achieve reliability improvements through their dedication to lubrication best practices, and they hope to encourage other plants to do the same. Blue Buffalo's Joplin plant is already in the process of undergoing similar improvements, 
but the Richmond plant isn't done yet. We have made great strides in the quality of our program, the consistency of the program. Every single year we're asked for more from the business. We are already outstripping the highest maximum output we were designed to do. Um, with minimal capital investment, you're only able to achieve those business results when you have leadership and subject matter experts like Matt, like Kevin.